got a huge show. Uh, hi, thanks for doing my show. Um, like, subscribe, and share. All right. Hi, and welcome to the Tyler Shoot Show. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to be telling my story for at least one ghost experience. I'm uh, going to be telling more about my um, experience for uh, hauntings and stuff. But this is kind of a haunting, so it'll blend in with the rest of my videos. Um, what's your sister's name? She said me to tag her and say hi to her. Jesse. Jesse, hi. Um, it's Tyler Shoot, also known as Marcus. Um, am I allowed to use your name? Okay. And Todd Shoot as well is uh, also in my video here. Um, so, anyways, uh, my ghost experience technically was in Sierra Vista, Arizona. Um, we were living in a in a house, and um, I believe what I saw was either Satan or some type of demon. But the story starts out with um, I was probably about, I guess, six, maybe seven, maybe younger. We were living in a house where um, it was sinking in. Um, there was a lot of experiences at this house that I will get into later, but this is the main one that stuck in my mind very clearly, was that I had a headache. It was like midnight, maybe close to midnight. I had a headache, and I was feeling very, very irritable and everything so I went to my dad and I said uh, dad I, I, I have a headache and I don't know how to uh, get rid of it and I can't sleep and, and, and everything and he tells me well I'll go make you a sandwich so he got me before he went to make the sandwich he got me some I think it was Tylenol aspirin I'm not sure he gave me two of them as a child which to me that wasn't out of the ordinary because when I had headaches they were really bad as a child I had what they would call uh, migraines and then I would have seizures later on well, um, my dad got me the sandwich and laid me down, tucked me into onto the couch. And across from the couch, as you're sitting on the couch, couch is right here. And over on this side was a glass sliding door facing outside. It had no curtains on it or anything. But it was like the weird part about it is, is this was a night where it was so dark you couldn't even see anything outside. And. Uh, there was a fireplace in the room too and I'll get to that later but um, I was laying on the couch and he had tucked me in and they had both mom and dad had both went to their room I had seen them go to their room and everything but everything went really really warm didn't bother me at first but then I looked over by the glass lighting door and there was a man over by one side of the glass lighting door, the part that opens. He was just sitting there, like Indian style. And he said, uh, hi or something. I don't know. He got my attention somehow. And so me being a little kid, attracted to this, this guy sitting there, he didn't have a shirt on. He just had like, it kind of looked like uh, pants, but it was hard to explain anyways and he was just sitting there in Indian style he was dark complected sort of like an Indian uh, more like uh, what do they call Todd the Indians from uh, India they had Indonesian, so, maybe, so Indonesian yeah and he had long hair flowing long hair probably about maybe shoulder length and straight and uh, I stood up because I was out as a kid, I was attracted to other people, really, you know, I was one of those friendly people, kids, whatever you want to call it. and I went to say hi, but it came out, it wouldn't, just wouldn't come out, it was like a dry air, but nothing would come out, um, but I, at this time, I was getting really scared, because I couldn't move, I was more like paralyzed, standing there, paralyzed, and mom and dad walked by, and I tried to say, mom and dad, please help, but once again, it was that dry air, just help, oh, and it wouldn't come out. It was very gaspy. It was like very, you know. Um, so uh, mom and dad passed me by. I was trying to get their attention, but I couldn't move. I couldn't grab them. 
or anything, and they went by like two times. One this way, and then one back. And I tried still to say it. It didn't work. Um, then, because I was getting scared that I couldn't talk, he started laughing. And it, it was like an over-exaggerated laugh. I'm sorry, guys. So as a Christian-based family, I would sing Jesus Loves Me. I had been singing since I was real little, so that was my first thought, sing Jesus Loves Me, because I was getting overwhelmed and scared. So I sang Jesus Loved Me, and it was basically in my head, because I couldn't sing anything else. And then he started changing. It was really creepy. The, the skin that he had that was very dark, maybe, you know how an Indian looks. Um, I can make a picture if I can get somebody to help me with it to show you what it looked, looked like to me. His frontal lobe right here all caved in to almost like a rounded look. And he turned more like an olive green. And his laugh got more hideous and did that echo and it was like ha 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 Sound like almost a whole crowd of people laughing at the same time. The room got even hotter to where I was literally sweating and uh, so it is as much as I could I just kept singing and then he got up and just disappeared and the whole room to me had literally caught on fire it looked like there was fire all around me and I walked to this uh, where the stove was and the stove was hot and this is in the middle of summer when this happened so there was no reason for the stove to be hot. Um, and I started crying, and I was crying really, really loud because I didn't know where to go or whatever. And then my dad comes in and he says, uh, what's wrong, are you okay? By the way, this is all in the dark until my dad came in and turned on the lights. And uh, dad goes, what's wrong, are you okay? And I said, I just can't find the bathroom and I'm really scared and I'm tired and I got a headache still. Well, he. He took me to back to the bed after uh, he took me to the bathroom because he, he wasn't too sure I'd be safe. And then he took me back to the bed and laid me back down. Well, later on, this is years, years later, um, probably around the age of, uh, I would have to say, sorry, you probably can't see me now. I'd have to say this was around, all right, um, I'd, I'd have to say it was around the age of 20-ish, maybe where I asked my father if he remembers this incident where I was standing there and not moving. And he says, yeah, I just figured you had to get up to go to the bathroom. And this was before he actually started getting uh, really uh, out of it and stuff because my dad uh, ended up with Alzheimer's. And so uh, he, he told me that, yeah, I remember it. And uh, he explained to me, I just thought you had to go to the bathroom, you were you were standing there pretty stiff, so I just figured you'd wait for us to go by. And I mentioned to my mom, and she says, I remember it too. And you just seemed like you were in a trance or something. And I just figured, well, you were just being you, because there was time for you dazed out and everything. Well, looking back, you know, and looking into some of the stuff I've looked into before, I know what I could have saw was either Satan or a demon, so it was very scary to me. Um, so that's, that's the story, um, and I wish I could explain it to you a little bit better. It doesn't scare me as much as it used to, but it was very, um, scary at the time. Um, I have heard voices and everything else, and I will get into that later. Um, I'll also get into how my bed had, uh, lifted off the ground, place also where I had this experience, the bed lifted, um. And there is also another place with my aunt and uncle, which is a totally different place where things like this happen. All right, well, this is the end of the Tyler Shoot Show, um, and I will tag anybody that I have said in this video. Um, a set for my mom and dad. Um, my dad has passed away recently in July of 2014. I don't even think it was 14. That's too far back. We're in six. We were in two sixteen. Sixteen now, right? Sixteen. Okay, it was in two thousand fifteen. Um, all right. Well, he passed away, so Gene is his name. I can put that in there. And uh, he was a very awesome guy. He did have his problem. He was an awesome guy. 
Anyways, I, I will let you guys go. This is the end of the Tyler Shoot Show, and thank you. This video has also been edited by Hot Shoot and Tyler Shoot as Marcus Lukovic. If you would like to see other videos, please view the listing below.